way to go. I think they really have to look at compositions. I think I can answer that. Uh, if they want to punish Kairi, they, Kairi also always have a teammate. Even I play Kemarin, oh. right? Yesterday I played with and I want to kill Kairi, but it's hard to kill Kairi because of his teammate. But you killed him? Yeah. Yeah, only they know. They really know how to protect Kairi. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So every hole is going to be closed here. Let's jump into the draft and we're already seeing right off the bat. They are so quick. We got the Arlet, we've already got the Gee, we've already got the Kadita, Toy, Yu Tong as well as Wan Wan. Now, I mean, it, it's so quick. It's so quick. It's so quick. How do you keep up with this? Echo instantly taking up Carl TC's signature inside that Lancelot and Delar. What can you say about this? They already know each other. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> They're so prepared. They've done their homework. Yeah. They've done more than their homework. They've done extra credit on each other, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It just makes sense, right? Yeah. From this particular position, Wolf, you were talking about yeah. overall team compositions, mm -hmm. right? Which direction right now? Okay, um, definitely for a big up for the side of uh, Echo. Well, on the side of Arnik, they want to Maybe Valentina. Oh, there you go. The Valentina. Very important for them to take. And uh, so far, they have not rebuilt anything yet. Maybe sh surely you have the glue. I doubt though. Only sometimes they they kind of flex that, so we don't know yet. Uh, I think they're gonna, they're gonna pick uh, Faramis. Faramis, Faramis instantly yeah. to try and can, do you know counter out that glue. That could be a potential possibility. Valentina is still up, so you can at least take the you know call altar for yourself to play a little bit more defensively. But every time when we look at that first pick, they always gotta pose those questions. What questions are we looking to see here from Echo? Oh, and they yeah. answer us straight oh. away. Oh. Barca. Arsene's dead. Yeah, no fair miss up against the glue. I would have expected the same thing up against yep. the glue. Very good, but it almost seems like it was too good to be true. It almost seems like Onik wanted them to play the fair miss, so they take the other route. I would say, though, Sans played a mean Farsa, but knowing that there's already a Valentina on the opposite end, I think that this is a very early Farsa. But we do know Echo Express, part of the conditions there is burst. And Kaja plus the Farsa, there's a lot of burst in there for Echo. What about you, Dalar? Where else? You're in Onyx shoes I right think now. I think Pasa also good because if, if you connect with Kaja, can punish the glue. Yes. Yes. Almost instantaneously. Yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And it doesn't necessarily have to be the glue. It's whoever walks up to the bush first and gets punished. Now, Onyx, I think Kairi gonna play Assassin. Ooh. He's gonna play Assassin? Yeah. I think, I think. maybe. Keep that in mind, yeah, boys. Keep that in mind. Kyrie on this Assassin. So we get the Claude first. It's still safe. Now we start moving into the second phase. I don't know. Is Echo gonna let him play the assassin comfortably, though? Knowing uh, Coach Trevor and the entirety of Echo, no. I think that they will see through this. The Ling out of there. Yeah, they're gonna <laughs> ban out Ling as well as a Hayabusa, perhaps, and then force force uh, Onik to pick up a weird, um, like a weird assassin. They are prepared, though. They have the Kaja. Maybe they are gonna let Fanny at most. Time and time Hayabusa maybe not. No Fanny at most. Hayabusa. Not. All right, all right. But why give the early game game pressure, right? I mean, we're seeing the Beatrix get banned out. At least Onik, they're thinking about the overall side lanes as well. They're not just targeting, okay, we're going to get hit from the Assassin area. Let's make sure that we yeah. can actually have a somewhat of a convenient lane. Get rid of the Beatrix. We don't want you to be able to move out of this lane. Also, watch out for the Kairi. Uh, the Kairi, rather. They're, oh. Also, yeah, yeah. They, they should ban out the Kairi here. Benny QT carry for um, Echo. It's actually pretty strong. And in combination with the Kaja, that's a lot of burst that you have. And it's a traditional play for Echo. Somebody gets snagged, even when it's attacked, because it's a carry, you will be bursted down. Mm. All right, that's a fair point. Delar, in your position, right, looking at where we're going so far as a glue, what, what are you afraid of from the side of Echo? Because it doesn't feel like you can really get punished just yet other than just Kaja. I think it's already enough the, the, the first three picks of Echo, but they need a, a follow-up follow -up damage for to punish Glue and Cloud. Follow-up damage. I'm looking at Wolf. What are we yeah. looking for for follow-up damage? would have said that it's a Grok so that you can uh, punish it. But maybe, yeah, carry should be there. Brody? Let me explain me. Oh, that's well. Let's draft. Come on. Ooh, they are going real okay. fast. They are this wasting. is an M4 draft. Right? They are just going at yeah. it quick. And again, a lot of playmaking capabilities from the side of Echo. Onik with their very last pick and the invisible Gilang Sangs. Wow, zero deaths during the 3 0 series against Evo's Legends. Man, kind of production kind of doing us dirty here. Even Dilar can't kill him. Yeah. Katulad ng sabi ko kanina, follow up damage carry. 
Sobrang ganda ng combo ng Kari Kaja Barsa. <laughs> yep, Dilar loves the Kari combo with the Farsa and the Kaja. They close up with the family. There it is. You called it. Yeah. Yep. He knows oh. his boy. Of course okay. he knows his boy. Yeah. I already know there. All right, Dilar. Position. All right, Dilar. <laughs> Tell us. Which comp this composition do you think is better right now? Mm. Is it Echo or is it Onik? Seriously, it's hard to to uh, Kairi, uh, Kairi funny. Kalau kalau dia snowball in early, pasti menang. Tapi kalau kalau lima puluh lima puluh, me uh, Onik bisa kalah. It all relies on Kairi snowballing in the start. If they get the snowball going, they will win Onik. But if it's 50-50 in the mid game, if Echo will take over because it's hard to. Right now, funny so hard to snowball mm. right now in early game because of the dreadnought and other itemization, right? Man, it's great having professional players on the table. Thank you so much, Dalar here. Thank you for giving your insights for this game. But I think everybody is ready. Leo, would you like to take us in to the land of dawn? I would love to. It's time for what many would call a grand finals worthy matchup. It's game one between Echo well, and Onik. Oh, I think I gotta agree with the Lars. Surely, oh. we did say that they will let go of the Fanny at most, and the Hayabusa definitely gonna be banned out. It's exactly what happened. The Kaja is prepared for this Fanny. The only reason why you, they would let this, uh, they would still get the Fanny, is because the carry eventually was picked up. So there's a lot of like battle between the uh, b battle between the junglers now, and I just love the fact that both teams. Gave us a first pick Lancelot, last pick Fanny, Kairi versus Kautizi. This is like Christmas for me. This is an anime in the making. Yeah, it's book ending the start of what could be a five game, se uh, five game series. Hopefully it is. Hopefully it does go five games. Because if I can curse something, I won't curse the teams. I'll curse that it's going to be 3 0. To make it 3 2, I'm going to try to reverse the odds that right how it works? now. I don't know. Maybe it math. does. Maybe it's how it works. But, you know. Leo, Wolf, or something that you know good junglers have in common. They that all is... have K as their initial letter. Like wow. Kyrie, Kyle Carl TZ, Cleo, Kyle TZ, Cleo, Kirko, Kulf, Clafel, Koba Zane. Koba Zane. <laughs> okay. Oh, but that's not gonna fly. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, they will definitely. They will, they will. I'm expecting a lot of anime moments in this game one. And yeah. yeah, no, this, if anything, this is Echo Express. This is definitely Echo Express. All of the ingredients are there. You have uh, Yaoi's setup hero. It's not an AOE setup, this is a, a snag. You have a, uh, you have the Kaja together with Farsa. So you already have the burst. And the thing is they have low cooldown ultimates as well. Maybe the longest one probably is the Divine Judgment, but the entirety of the, of the kit that you have from Echo, spammable. All of them, right? So that's uh, they, it. All fits the bill. Well, for the side of uh, uh, <laughs> well, for the side of Onik, very, very dependent on ultimates. Well, that being said, it's a uh, counter start for both of our junglers, the goat and the one. Orange for Kairi, Carl Easy go for purple here. Early start again. It's just the orange buff. It's a very unique path oh. that Kairi segment in the bottom lane. This is something we don't see a whole lot of. Boots already winning in lane early on the glue matchup against the Lapu. Oh, Delar did mention that you gotta watch out for Boots and the Chewe here in mid. It's a little wonder take for Onyx. So already looking good in this rematch coming in from M4. Okay, we're seeing a few trades as well. But honestly, Wolf, anything mm. interesting when it comes to the emblems or talents oh. here? Not so much. I guess the magic worship has been uh, onto the Farsa has been getting a lot of attention. Now Sanji is uh, going to be picking it up. You have to worry if you're the Claude, get hit by two Feather Dash in the late game, you might die. Oh. So again, it's clear that there's not much that the Echo are hiding. As for yeah. Onik, we can see that maybe if if, if uh, Nikki, if Keyboy doesn't find a good catch. Yep. Then they can re-engage. I think that's one trait that Onik has, is the re-engage. They're not as reliant on the all-in as Echo is. Yep. That's very true. Maybe they will find their opening there. They eventually, the team that would have a great time. There you go, Kyrie jumping in all the way. A deep down, but Kyrie's gonna spawn here. He's gonna go for the cables. The fadeaway should not be able to kill him right now. But that was real Ooh. close, so close. A bit too close for comfort. What a, what a pilot episode in our anime between <laughs> Kyrie and Carl Tizi, right? The uh, hot start there, a close call. Turtle already up. Carl Tizi and Sanford on. 
The turtle, that's in your boots, trying his best to look for it, but Sanford finds first blood, and it's Echo on the board with the first turtle. Kyrie with the invade already right now, has the retribution advantage, but Yowie's walking back in. Divine Judgment's right there, but Cable actually saves it for a bit. Kyrie able to steal away the purple pump, the Cable's there! But Carl's chasing him down, Keyboy forced to flicker out, Sans has stolen the Divine Judgment, but Onik. They pull back, they do not want to stay too long. Now, how Kyrie is playing so aggressively. This is, you know, typically I know Kyrie is a, not, not an aggressive kind of guy, you know? Especially with the Fanny, surely he gets kills and he will die for sure, but wait. it's not like aggressive, aggressive. Wait, know? wait. Kyrie! Oh, yes, key boy. Oh, yeah, it's fine. He knows it. You were saying? Yeah, I mean, uh, Kyrie is more of a calculated aggressor, you know? He waits for his time, but this time it seems like there's no weight on Kyrie. This love himself, uh, love myself era is yeah totally different, you know. Definitely, uh, it seems like what happened yesterday and uh, how he was after that sweep against Evos Legends is is propelling him forward. This is momentum on the one. Looking at their items here, it looks like uh, Boots built uh, the uh, Warrior Boots, so he understands that yeah, this is Echo Express. I have to accept that these basic attacks are gonna hurt. There's a pull. My judgment locking them down. And Kyrie picks up the kill with that Master Assassin emblem. Clean combo gets them on the board, equalizing the kill score one to one. And this Pachi boy bouncing ball on through. Phantom execution. Oh, here comes Chewe. Are we just putting a spotlight on Kyrie for the past three minutes? I guess that Garthies has been very quiet, only getting the turtle, but it was even uh, um, uncontested. So maybe, this is scary though for Arnik because it means that this Garthiesy, uh, this Garthiesy treat is just going to be boiling for now. And when it does pop, you're going to be ready if you're Arnik. I mean, you don't last uh, this long in uh, the realm of MLBB sports if you don't have patience, right? For We've sure. seen Kyle, Carl Thiesi through his Child Prodigy era. We've seen him through uh, the uh, Tank Jungler era. And now we've come full circle. He's back on the Lancelot starting this turtle. Purple buff, ready, Keyboy now with Tark Bench. At the race, it's going to be flickering. That's Kyrie who picks up the kill Ooh. on the go. Retri on point. Kyrie picks up the turtle right now. Sanford's going to be engaged on. Boots mounting him up, bringing him back. Feather and airstrike coming out to deal some damage back also. But Keyboy finds a good time's revenge to cancel that feathered airstrike up. Good trade from Echo though. They're already looking to re rotate around, mirroring Onik up top. Oh yeah, this is definitely a tug of war. The first turtle going in favor of Echo uncontested. And we get to see through the replay how Onik managed to get the turtle and get the kill onto Carl Tizi. And there are so many other ingredients that's very important here. Look at the positioning of Boots and Keyboy's timing. Pops the ultimate, no save whatsoever from Echo. The burst was there with Sans as well as Kyrie just Throwing everything onto Carl Tizi, even a, a tank slot will not survive that kind of uh, burst down coming out from Onik. It's just the same, you have to admire the discipline, the trigger discipline of Echo because just any other mid laner might have popped the feathered airstrike there and still died. Yeah. And then Sanji and Sanford, they understood like, yo, this is not a fight we should be taking. Let Kairi have this time. Mm -hmm. We'll try to bounce back. So yeah, this is a clear win for Onik who's up ahead now by about 400, 500 gold. This is a very sketchy situation. Ooh. Both flickers are up. CW, that's the flicker onto him, but that's gonna be the lockdown as well. Sans not able to respond it over. Sanji with the burst, taking CW down. And that is the Echo Precision. Fast paced combos. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, a little bit of a skirmish between the one and the goat. Yeah. How much damage do you want? Yes. yes. Echo read through that though. Onik, um, for sure that there will be a movement onto Chewe's lane, onto the gold lane. And Echo also have two people in there. It was a 3 v 3 It seems like they don't know that that's happening. At least they don't have the confirmation. But understanding the pattern oh. of their opponent, Kyrie. they know that's happening. That's a fadeaway as well. Oh. Kyrie's still able to escape for now, but the fadeaway is gonna oh. hit him and it's gonna be the kill. Benny picks it up. The feather airstrike locks Keyboy down as Yaoi puts some slow onto him. Carl with the phantom execution onto the back right now. The Thorn Rose as well, but he does not find a connection on those skills. But Echo have gotten back the gold lead as the turtle spawns. What a conceal coming out from uh, from Keyboy to get out, but definitely Echo winning that fight, locking down the the Fanny. Big props to uh, Sanji actually connecting on the curse, and then he gets the stun afterwards. That's the reason why Kyrie was brought down. You know, there was an update on the Fanny, right? If you get stunned, your mm -hmm. cables will not push through. Oh, and what that leads to is a thousand gold lead for Echo. And this was a clear statement, a message to whoever's watching. Because if you look at Carl Tizi's inventory in just a bit, he first built War Axe. So he's still on a one-way road to snowballing. Yeah. Oh, I got nothing. 
Oh, divine judgment again. Only on the keyboard though. They gotta be careful right now as Kyrie builds up the cables. Oh. Still on the back line without a divine judgment to play with. Benny is gonna be caught, but nice flicker to get out. That's a feather. Nope. That's actually the wings by wings used up by Sanji. He's holding on to that feather airstrike. The divine judgment actually connects onto Carl Tizi, but the burst is not gonna be enough as the feather airstrike comes down with a flicker. Sanji's one, and he falls to Sanji with a brilliant flicker maneuver. Oh, Deco really did outplay Onig in there. And Onik, they tried to go for a play. CW didn't have the stacks. He was actually just, you know, he's just like a spray gun holding on to the da to Echo, and they just got, got out. When Boots wanted to go for the play, the flicker was there from Benny Cutie. Then Boots was trapped, but it was Sans who was taken out afterwards because everybody was just dialing down on saving Boots. I, I think that's a bad decision from Arnik overall. Yeah, no. And to think it was Boots who was the aggressor. It was Boots who was cutting deep behind Tier 1, right in the middle of Tier 2, trying to get that mount on Sanji. And I gotta say, man, Sanji, I thought I thought I saw everything. But here he outplayed three members of Arnik and I still agree. got a kill on the way out. Spent the flicker, held on to yeah. the Feather Airstrike for the perfect moment. Sanji is no longer invincible. One death. That's right. Because of Sanji. Because of Sanji. Oh, Sanji. Of course, with the magic worship, you know that he's going to be packing up a punch. Believe that he does have the Clock of Destiny anyways. Oh, I think that Onig really just have to, you know, relax a little bit. I think that they are they're trying to match the Echo Express. And honestly, in this game, if you're looking at Echo, they're not even like putting on the gas pedal. They're just waiting for the steam to, you know, fire up. It's not as fast. Uh, they're at... Third gear, fourth gear, tops here. Yeah. We've seen them definitely go much faster. And I think the fact that Onik are actually porcupines and not hedgehogs might be the reason why. They, they can't go just as fast, especially since they're still waiting for CW to farm up. They're waiting for T-Boy to get a good setup. And the whole disengage, re-engage won't work this early on. Or dance. I believe that there's a lot of Ooh. merit for Echo. Divine Judgment locking him down. Carl Ooh. picks up the kill. Sans. He's gonna ball Kyrie now, knowing there's no Divine Judgment, wants to go for some kills, but Carl Tizi evades from it. T-Boy charging up the top of the fence now with the Rage as well, that's gonna be the burst coming down, as that's the hour picked off. Boots in the midst of it all right now with a flicker out with a split split, CW clearing out the mid wave, jumping back to the BMI. Boots, not stunned up, baits out the feather airstrike, Kyrie still looking for the cables. Red Tree battle coming down, Carl versus Kyrie, 50-50 on the board, CW just did it, Kai! With the red tree battles, CW jumps back right now with some damage once again, but Benny Cutie in the back as well is doing a lot. Jumps forward, CW should fall here, and Onik lose out three members. Oh. Three for one, eventually Kyrie coming out with the Lord take. What's the economy on this? Uh, definitely Echo, despite Onik is getting that, uh, that Lord, even when Kyrie had a level disadvantage, winning the fight, that, what, that is what matters more. They get three kills out of that, and now they're farming so heavily. And Echo, they will just clear out the waves, they're gonna be A-OK. -okay. The fact that Benny, as well as Carl TZ, were untouched during that fight, that was uh, massive for Echo. Onik, however, you know that they have a plan here. They want, they wanted to go for the jump onto Yaoi, was able to get it. Then, of course, CW with his jump with the Blazing Duet was actually well done. However, the second fight afterwards, that is what Echo found and won. And they also got the economic advantage afterwards. Kibo here, right out of the bush, spotted by Sanford. No, no sneaky jumps here. And just like that, it definitely was a win for Echo. They decimate and destroy the Lord. Not much of an advantage. Kyrie spotted out here, cabling on through. It looks like this 2k gold lead for Echo is just small, despite going 8 and 3. Wait, the there's a pull! Only on the boots, though. He's still holding on to that split split. And Onik will not let boots get taken down. That's that a great spider as well, yeah. defensively. It's, it's a small 2k lead. Yeah. There's not much Echo can do with this until they find another angle, until they shot the system. Another airstrike though, Boots now finally forced to pop that split split, even a conceal from Keyboy. Defensive maneuvers from Onik reacting very, reacting a lot to Echo's plays. Well, Echo's like, they're, they're definitely like orcas, like sharks, you know? They, when they smell blood, they're gonna hunt for it. And this weakness coming out from Onik, wherein they already used the ultimate on Boots as well as the conceal, they are gonna smell that and they definitely will make a play. They're just waiting, they are uh, cordoning off where Onik is allowed to move in. As a fanny, that's not the best thing to do. That, that, that's not an ideal situation. The one here isn't getting as much as he wants from the map. Yes, he's sitting at 3-1-0, and zero, but Carl is just going ham on these objectives. The only real thing that Carl Tizi left out to the open was that turtle that he lost to in the trade and that Lord. I'm wondering, we got a Lord coming in. 
Uh, about a half a minute here. And it looks like Onik is just pushing the advantage. They understand that this is the oh. tempo we have to go at. Okay, Carl dashing forward right now. It's 1v1. Carl versus Kyrie. Phantom is huge, but Kyrie wins out oh. on the Retree battle. Oh. Those were two Retries, and Kyrie won. The one is here. Oh, oh, oh the this prelude to the next Alor. Oh my goodness. Anime to be continued. Do we wait for this? So, what? That's what? Season two or what? Or is it still season one? We're still in season one. We're, We're still, still season in the one beginning. That's game one out of best five. Okay, yeah. okay. Yep, it's, it's season one. We've got the pilot, and then now we're waiting. It's a big fight! Divine Judgment, it cancels out! The famous spider! Sanford's gonna be shut down. T-Boy walking in the mid right now, getting caught by the Divine Judgment. It's that's gonna be Sanji in the back. Now with a feather airstrike, locking Sans down. Sans going out, but the Magic Worship is dealing a lot of damage. Call easy moves forward. Oh. With a crunch and bot right in time. The Thorn Rose is right there. Call easy with a kill! CW walking back, dealing some damage onto the call. Oh, the Goat, no. but the oh. cable comes through. Dutch. The Thorn Rose is there, but it's not enough to save the Goat's life. Onyx. Slowly, but surely, coming back in the game. Ooh, very good start for Arnik as they have found the opening. Sans finally getting a no, getting a good snag with a copy that uh, Divine Judgment, but he died in the end. Still, the winter transition that we picked up very early. Arguably, at 13 minutes, you already have the winter transition. It was utilized in perfect uh, purpose, I would say, for Arnik because they bought time for Hulk TZ to be put in a bad spot. Arnik pulled the rug right underneath Echo's feet. They were just waiting to set up. I think yep. Echo was looking for this engage, the pincer maneuver here in bottom. But Sans, he mm. went up and he tried to outplay Carl He yep. tried to buy time, but they didn't know, they didn't see. Yep. Kyrie was speeding down there and oh, this is what? Yep. Notch one up for the one against the Goat. Yes. The important thing that to take note is that Chewie is quietly doing the right moves, although he died twice. That was uh, actually a good move that he did to zone out the remaining members of Echo, then went back to deal the damage to Carl Tizi, then Carl contributed to the kill. Keyboy, after the snag of Sans already, it's weird that he still went in. That looked really dicey for Onik. They could have lost the fight because of that. But things have happened and now Onik have equalized. I think it's a matter of timing and again, tempo. Onik are calling the shots at this point and now they're making the most of their battlefield mobility. The speed at which CW can cut through uh, the jungle compared to Benny Cutie, mm. how Kyrie just has energy all the time. And of course, Keyboy finding these odd angles, these diagonal jumps mm. is just going uh, too fast. It, yep. it, it's not speed wise, but you know, mentally overloading Echo. Remember to change. Ooh! Whoa. Winner Truncheon oh. from Sans. Beautiful Winner Truncheon by okay. Sans to escape the Divine Judgment. My goodness gracious. Wow. That's the Gila Sans we were expecting from MPL Indonesia. But my point earlier, I wanted to say, wait, we're still going. Carl actually jumps forward. Phantom Execution aggressively moves down. Don't go as well, Sans. Wait, it's 2v4! What is going on? They're still able to be alive, but what? How? How did it happen? Boots finds a kill in the midst of Echo! And he lives! Ooh. What? Count easy! What? Really, unnecessary jump from him. Sans outplaying Yaoi first, that's good. But then again, the, the secondary jump where Count easy was, it was punished because Boots went for the one, two, and the flicker. Okay, split, split, divine judgment. There you go. There Finally, you go. I mean. Boots, he's telling his team to be careful, but he needs to be careful sometimes too. It took a while. It took a while. Took he a while. did way too much to even warrant that death. Yeah. Now, Wolf, you were saying. Yeah, it's the one-two with the flicker in the middle. That's the that's the play when you are going for the glue, and then it hit Kaltizi because Kaltizi not only jumped, he also utilized the thorn rose very earlier on. So that's why there was no way for him to dodge the one-two flicker from but from Boots. What happened? The gold shifted so fast from. CW, because earlier it was Benny holding the goalie exactly. like a massive one. Now had four assists, the average is also kicking in, and That's the, right. you have so much... Uh, you, this is critical mass, like we were talking about. Onik have reached it. And again, I'm just theorizing here, I don't know exactly the map movements, but CW has had an easier go at the lane. Uh, given the uh, speed that Onik has uh, just suddenly stepped on the clutch with. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the river controlled by Onik. You see how Echo are suddenly uh, on the defensive. They're the ones who are scared. Uh -oh. For good measure though, because this is a very strong lineup now for Onik. There's so much uh, re-engage potential. Even if they don't find their initial target, they can just reset. And again, even if it's just one, they take down one. And, and, and earlier, it was Carl Teasy within his own base, off of Boots who survived. 
that's the ideal here for Onik. Now the engage. Divine Judgment now locking T-Boy down. He still has the mortality right now. Salty is going to be able to dish out some damage. That's going to the airstrike as well. T-Boy flickering out. Disengage properly. Call T-Z versus Kyrie on the Lord. Sanford going to be brought back to the team. I see the some damage. Who's going to win? It's Kyrie! Who is the Red Tree? Betty against the world. But what are you going to do when five members are still alive from Onyx? They are able to secure the Lord and win a team fight. Off the back of Keyboy's perfect jump, Carl TZ was compromised and Kyrie just had to press the button. And now they're threatening the finish. All five, just Sanji and Yaoi left. Kai with the cable, toss to the back. Sanji gonna be zoned away. Onik looking for the play right now as Yaoi gets destroyed in the front. Sanji with a desperate attempt with the Fender airstrike. They're all marching down the flicker defensively. Onik! have won a game, and it is the first game in the series. An amazing start to what we all expect to go all five games. Onik finds a window, stops the speeding Echo Express in its tracks. The chemistry from Onik and was there. And Coach Jim wasn't kidding when he told me that he told everyone what they needed to do in specific team fights, and they obliged. They happily followed the format and the formula that Coach Jim and, Ad and uh, Adi laid out for them. Keyboy had immortality, and he knew that he can be the sacrifice. He burned the Divine Judgment. He went back with a jump, and Sans initiating with the bravest fighter to help Kyrie secure that Lord Retribution. It wasn't just Kyrie's effort, it was the entirety of Onyx just in perfect unison to win that game. And now comes into play what Dilar mentioned. It's not as easy to take care of Kyrie. He had a slow start. The first two to three minutes of this game didn't look very good for the one, but eventually with the help of Sans, with the help of Keyboy, and Boots in the odd angles, Ooh. Onyx scores one. Gideon, you see that? Moment of that game, and I was not expecting it to look like this. I really didn't. I thought it was the one plus the four that makes it work. Not the fact that when it comes down to the neutral objectives, it's the four that makes up that one. Kyrie, he's got a perfect team around him. And I think that in, in one of these few times, right, you guys don't get to see this on the desk sometimes, but Mirko's face after that game, the insane steal, I wouldn't even call it a steal, the it's insane not. fight around the Lord was just nuts. It, it was I almost nuts. lost my voice with that one. I thought it was, I thought Carl got it. You know, Lance, Phantom Execution, he built up the stacks as well. That's why I said, who got it? Who got it? Kai got it. And watching it again, you, you're going to see, it's not just Kyrie's effort. Sans copied the Divine Judgment. He timed it so that there will be no chance at all for Call TZ. Onik really knew what he needed to do, but of course, it wasn't that. It wasn't just that. Kyrie was so active. And like I told you, I've seen a lot of Kyrie games, and uh, this is probably the most aggressive that he was. T typically, the calculated aggressor, but he knew that he has to be aggressive so that nobody will be looking at Chewe. Was that the last Lord fight? Was it the Keyboy jump and the Divine Judgment? That's right. Oh, wow, all the worst. It literally was a game of rock, paper, scissors. Even amongst you and me, Leo, whenever we play rock, paper, scissors, we're trying to think one step ahead like Carl TZ. But notice in these fights, right? First, it was Keyboy catching him, and he's like, okay, I adjusted for Keyboy. Next thing you know, oh, Divine yep. Judgment starts being added into the mix. Man, yep. when does it stop? I hope that he doesn't, though, <laughs> because I really want to see more from these teams. Look at this. Carl TZ just jumping in, boots ready with the mount, the grab, grab. Like I said, the 1-2 with the flicker that's allowed him to get enough stacks. Watch it for Sans. Look at him. No words to describe this. He finds Yaoi. Oh. It goes back. Carl TZ puts the Lord low. Kyrie's waiting in there. Sans is going to time it. Do it to threshold. Oh. It was so good. It was wow. a suppress. That's mm -hmm. worse. That mm -hmm. wasn't a 50-50. It wasn't. It well, was 100 to 0. Man, all planned, all pre planned right from the start. It's great that we got at least a heads up from the general himself. Because again, they said if Kyrie is able to snowball out of control, and even Echo was aware of that, trying to slow them down as much as they can. And now that we jump back into the post game stats, mm -hmm. what could have Echo done better? No, really, just play better, you know? <laughs> just 
the draft wasn't wrong. The, the way that they're playing it wasn't wrong. But it's just that during important moments, it's just the way that they chose their fights was, uh, like I said, unnecessary jumps from Carl TZ in the mid lane before that Lord fight happened. And they thought that they had a free pass because they landed the Divine Judgment onto Keyboy. But Keyboy planned it all along. Maybe if we can flip this page and see what the items are, I'm going to point out two important items. First, Immortality on Keyboy. So much value in that because he knew that he had to be the sacrifice to tank and soak the Divine Judgment. Next, you have the Winter Trenchant on, on Sans. So many people will say that, okay, that was far too early. But Sans knew. There were so many clashes that was won because of the Winter Trenchion picked up by Sans. Bargain Hunter. Yep. That emblem, Bargain Hunter, allowed for him to get a full build mm -hmm. in under 18 minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was doing it quick. And I wanted to point out Sans as well. I'm looking at you, Mirko, because again, <laughs> when they say Gilak Sans, has he hit a new level this time? <laughs> I don't even think so, right? Because okay. a few, there were a few mistakes in this game that I okay, usually okay. don't see Sans per, uh, do. We saw yesterday he was able to completely outclass uh, his opponents in game against Evos. A few winner truncheon plays, flicker plays to read out Divine Judgment. Yep. Here he was caught a few times, so he looked human, yep. which is already pretty pretty uh, rare to see for me, especially after watching MPLID, after yep. watching them in the group stage as well. Hey, this is this is Echo that they're facing. I think that yeah, you have a warrant to be you know yeah, to be challenged. Yeah. This is, I mean, we're we're living in Echo and Onyx's world now. Can mm -hmm. we say that? Can we season one's that? done. Yeah, I, I, season <laughs> one is done, and we're already moving on towards that next step. Oh, Onyx take that first win, okay, okay. and now the comeback are coming in from Echo <laughs> is going to 